there, it's Dave, the host and founder of the UpskillPodcast.com. I hope you are well. I hope you had a fantastic long weekend in Vietnam because we just had a four day a long weekend. I had a great time. It was a fantastic time to reflect on the situation and to strategize and plan and to really observe a lot of things that are going on in the world and also here in Vietnam, uh, you know, planning for the weeks and months to come. So I hope this video finds you well. I'm going to be sharing a very quick story in a moment, but just to let you know, um, Vietnam is 100% back into action. It's very difficult to find a quiet place construction is happening, you know, traffic is back in action, people are out and about. Um, so if there are distractions while I'm filming, I'm sorry about that. That's just, that's just Vietnam. There's, there's always something going on here. So um, anyway, let me share with you my personal story. Let's go. So I'd like to take you back 20 years. Yes, I'm 38 and uh, I'm going to take you back to when I was 18 and I was preparing to go into university around September, October time, and I had a summer job. And this summer job was in a small little publishing shop in The Hague in the Netherlands at the time. And I was working for just one gentleman, very nice gentleman. And um, my job at the time was to check scientific documents, uh, proofread them, correct them, format them, that kind of thing. And um, it was very interesting at that time because, it, first of all, that I've never I had never done something like that before. Um, but after a couple of weeks, I had noticed that the owner of the shop was also doing another business. Um, he was doing some kind of side business, side hustle, and I wasn't sure what that was. Of course, he had his shop, so that meant he was working, you know, you know, 60, 80 hours a week on his shop. That was his full-time income. But he was doing something in the background too. And that made me very curious. I was very interested to, to learn more about it uh, because he would talk to his customers about it and he would have some meetings um, and he would, he would also share that with me as well. Uh, and also in the background, he would also be listening to uh, fantastic motivational speakers like George Zalucki, um and some really big names like Tony Robbins, um, uh, Anthony Robbins, I think I'm sure you know those uh, those speakers. So that from a young age, I was just 18, 19. That was really exciting to me. I was like, whoa, what is this guy doing? Maybe maybe it's something for me. So anyway, uh, after a few weeks, he um, he offered me this other thing, and this other thing was um, to be a representative for a company, a telecom company, in Holland. And of course, I, I, I was like, yes, I'm really interested to, to do this with you. Um, and just, to, just for your own reference, 20 years ago in Europe, the telecommunication markets were being deregulated. So that meant that private companies could now offer uh, you know, cheaper discounted prices on you know, landlines at the time, not yet mobile. Mobile came a little bit later. So what my um, boss at the time was doing, he was offering his customers savings on their telecom bills. And also he was building a team, right? And so it was, it was, a, it was a really uh, interesting opportunity and I took it. He, he took me under his wing, he um, basically held my hand and he said, right, we're going to do this together. When I had zero experience in, you know, the telecom market. I had zero knowledge about what was going on at that time in the world. I really didn't understand de deregulation at all. Um, but I had 100% motivation and I had 100% enthusiasm to, to try it out. So, um, you know, he, he, he had 100% belief in me at that time. So that was the first fantastic thing that happened to me coming out of high school. My mentor at the time, he was a mentor to me. He had 100% belief in me as a person, as an individual. He took me under his wing, which is a very, very rare thing to find. And he guided me step by step and helped me to focus on the actions, the actual physical tasks, the tasks that I had to, to do to become successful. And I did become successful at a very young age in Holland. Um, I became the youngest representative to, to have you know, more than 200 customers and to build a team. 
and I was also the youngest person at the time to give presentations at the head office in Amsterdam to you know a small audience of 20 30 40 50 people every Wednesday night I remember that uh, and I remember I had a suit and tie on and uh, I was introduced as being the youngest um, uh, person in Holland at the time in that business and it was it was great it was a fantastic feeling and I could have only done that because somebody believed in me my mentor believed in me when I had no experience or um, I had never done it before right so what are the things that I learned from that experience now please bear in mind that from 18 to 22 I did this business in the telecom free time in, in my free time while I was a student it was an amazing experience as I told you I had zero understanding of the telecom market I had zero understanding of sales I had zero understanding of um, you know running a business so to sum up this short video what are my key takeaways well I think this message I think goes for all of us right now because we are looking at new options in life we are looking at new meaning new purpose and it's on us to be become more proactive to be more independent instead of taking a wait-and-see approach I feel that a lot of people right now are taking a new level of responsibility to take control of their lives even if they have zero experience in something even if they have zero experience and knowledge in a specific product or service or industry right now is the best time to try something out now now is the best time to get out of your comfort zone and to give something a go but at the same time you need to make sure that somebody believes in you it's absolutely essential that no matter what you're learning, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're planning right now, whether or not you're starting a new business, you're starting a new side hustle, you're pivoting your business, you know, you're looking at new ways to transform your current organization, different structure, different business processes, different products and services, no matter what's going on, it's absolutely essential that you have a very solid approach and that you have the right mentor, or the people around you, the right positive environment of learning and development that is going to support you in executing and taking action on those tasks that are going to make all the difference in your future and don't be scared don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone and try something new finally I want to say that show your enthusiasm show your belief in something that you're willing to try that you're willing to jump into the deep the deep end of the swimming pool that you're willing to take on some risks in learning something new. So that's it for me. I hope you found this video valuable and interesting at this time. I wish you a fantastic week ahead in whatever you're doing. I wish you all the best and success. If you're interested to listen to my podcast, The Upskill Podcast, please check out the website www.theupskillpodcast.com. You can also check it out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and a whole bunch of other uh, podcast platforms. And if you want to uh, follow me on LinkedIn, please follow me. That would be fantastic. And if you want to connect with me for anything, please let me know and I'm happy to be of service to you at this time. Have a great day. Bye for now. And remember always to upskill.